Hi Aquarius, how y'all doing? It's your girl Root. Welcome back to another weekly health advice from Spirit, Ancestors, Guides, all the lovers and helpers and protectors and guide us and forgive us and wonderful things we honor and respect and love them all. So, so many things they do for us. Did y'all um, honor your ancestors? This Are y'all honoring your ancestors on this Halloween? This, see on my um, channel I have Happy Ancestor Halloween because that's what it originally was for. Um, our loved ones that passed away and we're honoring them and they have the chance to talk and help us out from now on November 3rd while the portal is open and we have some that are lost and need to go their way and not only humans but other beings as well that are lost and maybe they'll go their way back into the portal and I know a lot of people lower entities are probably pulling some out as well as uh, some people trying thinking they can oh, go inside the portal into the underworld but anyway, we're, con we're concerned about our family and friends and wishing them well and wanting them to be okay. And I watched this one movie. Uh, they were talking about some kind of little cakes they used to make with raisins on it. And if you eat it, it would help your family uh, get out of purgatory if they, you know, said it wasn't so great here. And uh, you wanted to help them out. And, uh, you know, I'm still reading about it. But I thought it was interesting. But yeah, Aquarius. How y'all doing today? Let's get started. Hope you had a great week, a wonderful weekend. Enjoyed yourself, like I say. Yeah. And uh, learn more every day, you know. Some people know about it, different cultures. You know, but some people you got took and hidden from. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking that when you're dead in the grave, you're dead, you know. Not realizing the body that came from the dirt is in there, but your spirit so you're not in there you know what i'm saying you're roaming and hopefully you were ready or you know you know about the dimensions and going to the other dimensions and have been traveling now and know about astral travel and your spirit and only thing about astral travel i know i do it at night because i wake up with all kind of wounds on me sometimes so i'm probably fighting in the other realm but i um trust because it's like a, a um supposedly like a invisible um i want to say wire but it's like you know the umbilical cord or whatever that keeps you grounded and when you wake up you can go back into your body so trusting someone around you you know what i'm saying that they know for one and they don't cut the cord and you're just drifting you know, uh, like a coma, com person in a coma, you know, and just out of your body, but your body's there, but it's still breathing, but your spirit is out of the body. That's probably what happens to coma patients, people in comas. But yeah, I don't know, trust issues, yeah, I'm working on them. Just got to find people that are trustworthy, that even want to even be trustworthy enough to take the time you know what i'm saying to understand what's going on you know to be in the moment that's that's what i'm concerned about you know so if i need you you're there you know serious business like i would be making sure i'm doing the same so a lot of things working on y'all yeah. so yeah Come on, y'all. Give all that is cap. Oh, sad you woo. Hope y'all y'all mess with a cappy. Okay, first card is blood type. Find out yours so you can eat right and know who you are. So y'all know that's very important to me. Find out your blood type. It's A, uh, B, O, and A, B. And all those matter. They're all different. And especially if they're negative and positive attached to it. You know, so it means different meanings, different food you're supposed to be eating, different ancestors. Uh, we all coincide together because we all came from divine source, the whole universe. We were behind the darkness, I'm assuming. But there are different things that we are supposed to be doing, you know. So finding your blood type and Googling your last name, that'll help all four last names from your mom, your dad's last name on each side uh that'll help as well and um 
need to study yourself and see why you do what you do and the people of your culture. They still got it on Google, so you can do that by your blood type and find out the negative, who you can to, positive, who you can to, and um, what you're here to do, you know, who are you. That's my one of my questions to my ancestors, why I need a little help from uh, Papa Legro. Uh, who are my ancestors? Who are truly? Because a lot have been coming to me, so I want to know. So, yeah, if you find your blood type, then you find out who your ancestors are, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, then you can find out your diet and, uh, like, A's are not supposed to be eating meat, you know. So, kind of research all of that, and then you'll find out more about yourself, okay. I'm going to, can y'all see this? Let me turn the light on. Yeah, so y'all can see that better. Y'all see that? Oh, the light's kind of didn't help, but we're going to leave it on. Okay, Aquarius. Let's go to the next card. Let's see what our ancestors guys want to tell us. This evening, day after November 1st, day after Halloween. Yeah. So. A girlfriend born today and a girlfriend who well, a birthday today and a girlfriend. Birthday was yesterday. I was trying to look up and see if anybody was telling them happy birthday and the one they were born yesterday, but they hadn't been on their Facebook and I don't know how long. I didn't think about their Instagram. So I don't know. I know uh, she was sick for a while back, but I know she's doing great. I just stopped talking to everybody. I kind of took them off my, my page for different reasons. You know. What I felt was i supposed to do okay still love them though second card is knees so if you're having problems with your knees uh say you bruise it when you were playing ball younger or you bruise it lately or you got arthritis or some other thing wrong with it i had an operation on it you don't have any um i know my sister when they cut hers off she was still having pain with her knees and stuff so um, I would kind of research that, really get off into it myself on how to soak that and how to make sure it heals properly. And the same thing if you got knees, you know, um, different pro different uh, herbs and stuff will help with that. Um, soaking it and and uh, you know Mother Nature's edibles that's healthy on um, her medicine that'll help with the knees and exercising it and massaging it, getting massages and, you know, stuff like that uh, will help with the knees. Um, you know, like slapping it, get the blood flowing like the Chinese do, you know, and, uh, you know, do stuff like that. And if you drive, because I'm driving with my left and uh, I have to slap it or I have to elevate it at night you know, put my feet up, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, make me some homemade products and stuff for it, research some stuff. I haven't made it in a while, but um, I'm working on some, oh, I just finished um, hair moisturizer. I want my kids to try it, and I, um, I'm making some oils, some um, different type of oils, of herbs now. So, yeah, I'm kind of working on that. And then I start uh, doing some other things. I kind of want all my own oils and stuff when I get ready to do it this time. You know? That's what I'm working on. But, yeah. So, whatever that is for y'all with the knees. Yeah, I hated my sister. But uh, well, she kept drinking and stuff, too. So, she kept blaming her life. She apologized, but... Sometimes you got to get all of that hate and, you know, because she was, she was mean when she came here, like, you know, my mom said, but she um, knew she was different and knew that that dad wasn't her dad. And my uh, mom finally told her that, you know, her dad didn't want her. That made a big difference. She spent half her life moving where she thought he stayed so she could meet him. 
And I think she met his family, but I think he was already dead, though. He had left his wife with twin girls. She wanted to meet her sisters. And she never got a chance to, so I hate that. She always felt like she was different than everybody else. And then her skin color, she uh, didn't like that she was dark. And uh, some of her sisters were light-skinned. Not all of us were light-skinned, okay? But, you know, she just had that insecurity. Uh, it mostly come from her father, really, you know. So, yeah, I guess we'll take it, y'all. So the next one is wash your clothes, respect your neighbors today, and yourself and everyone. So I believe it's got this too, yeah. <laughs> I know I need to do that. It's reminding me again. You know, I have Aquarius and Saturn. Matter of fact, I'm going to go wash some stuff out. It's almost time for me to get my daughter, so I better kind of speed it up. But yeah, so that's self-explanatory, y'all. Like I said, if you're homeless, go in different places, wash a couple of items out. People be glad to give you some money to hustle. Put on that card, I want some money to wash my clothes. Okay, and I'll get some washing powder, whatever, whatever you hustle, and, and go wash your clothes out, hang it outside where you at, and keep clean, keep smelling good. There's no reason, just because you're homeless, you have to smell bad. There's no reason for that. And um, respect your neighbors, talk good to people, and, and if you're homeless, don't be coming up to people's cars and being all spooky and stuff. You know, you can get people get, you get killed like that. Don't do that. You know, be careful, you know. And if you're not, just wash your clothes, you know, and respect your neighbor and, and yourself and pat yourself on the back and love yourself and give yourself self-love, you know, be kind to everyone, queries, you know, because sometimes y'all can be mean, <laughs> okay, so watch that, but anyway, queries, let's go on to the next one, stay strong, don't fear anything, because when you fear stuff, you know, you make it happen, protect yourself against lower entities. And uh, be careful with that because they're everywhere and everyone, um, not everyone, but certain people. Everybody's not bad. And if you're one, check yourself, check your history, check your blood type so you'll know who you are and correct that. What's your purpose of being here and what you're supposed to be doing while you're here? Honor your ancestors. Remember, we got them to November 3rd to really talk and then to really talk to you. Not spooky, scary. I think they know how to approach you because they know you okay coming your dreams or whatever it may be start watching tv on your phone for a day we all know they're watching us experiment not taking your phone everywhere experiment unplugging the tv and stuff and see how you feel at night okay first call was blood type find out yours so you can eat right and know who you are second one was your knees third one's watch it wash your clothes respect your neighbor today and yourself and everyone Okay, Skredios, I appreciate y'all coming back. This is your girl Ruth signing off. Would y'all like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And until next week, bye, y'all.